Our Saturday Lenten lunchtime lesson from Father Andrew of the Society of the Divine Compassion. Grasping and giving. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Philippians 2, verse 5. The words in Philippians 2, 6, he thought it not robbery to be equal with God, would be better translated, thought it not a thing to be grasped at, to be equal with God. The sin of Adam was that he thought it was a thing to be grasped at, to be equal with God. The greatness of God consists in this, that he could think it a thing to be grasped at, to be equal in experience with poor, tempted men and women, and every difficulty, pain, and temptation that they can know. The prodigal son in the parable thought it a thing to be grasped at, to have all the money to spend. Christ in his passion thought it a thing to be grasped at, to spend his life in revealing the love of God to sinners, and to spend it where he could most lavishly, upon the cross. If we get quietly down upon our knees before our crucifix and think this out, how our sense of values begin to alter. The word grasp begins to go, and the word give begins to take its place. We see how often other gods have sat upon the throne of our wills. When we are possessed by some grasping desire, it really means that God is not reigning in our lives. A real repentance means dethroning this grasping spirit, which has suggested to us that we are at the center of the circle and enthroning the Christ spirit, which only asks to be equal with the last sufferer in the opportunity of suffering, to be equal with the most tempted in the opportunity of bearing temptation, to win to such a place in life's experience as shall allow of no other ever saying to him, I suffered something that you never knew.